Imagine one man leading two million people out of the nation of Egypt. Why did he have to go um, lead them out of Egypt? What was going on in Egypt at that well, time? If you remember the story, the Egyptians were using the Hebrews as slaves in their building projects. Uh, the children of Israel had turned away from God. God had promised to send them uh, a redeemer, and he uses Moses, who had been a prince of Egypt. Uh, mm -hmm. He'd been born during a time where Pharaoh was trying to kill the babies in Egypt. He wanted them to, the midwives to kill the Hebrew children. And the midwives lied and said, oh, the Israeli women uh, give birth too fast. <laughs> Moses' mother put him in a reed basket. The older sister, Miriam, followed him down the river. Pharaoh's daughter found the basket and raised him as his own with the help of Miriam saying, I can get a lady to nurse him for you and mm -hmm. so make it so. So he lived 40 years as a prince of Egypt. Then he uh, murdered uh, an Egyptian that was abusing a Hebrew. He went to break up a fight the next day. Yeah. And the two Hebrews said, what, are you going to kill us like you killed the Egyptian? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm done. So he fled into the wilderness. And after spending 40 years at the top of the ladder, he spent 40 years herding sheep and or goats as a shepherd in the wilderness. And what land was that? That was in the land, the Bible says, the land of Midian. That's right. That's an important land, Median. Me, am I saying it right? Median? Me, median. Median. Not, not to be confused <laughs> with between the freeways or the streets. Medium. All right. So going median. back to the map, for, so they were in slavery for 400 years, and God told Moses, go to Pharaoh. And so Moses went to Pharaoh with the message from God many times. And every time Pharaoh just hardened his heart, hardened his heart, hardened his heart. It was the last time when um, Moses went to Pharaoh. Remember, um, about it was about the um, what was you it watched about? the movie The Ten Commandments. Uh -huh. uh, came out in like 1958 with Charlton Heston as Moses and Yul Brenner. So let it be written. So let it be done. <laughs> uh, Yul Brenner as Pharaoh. The ten plagues he hit Egypt, and each plague was one of their gods. Yeah, showing that. The Hebrews, their God's bigger than the little G gods of Egypt. But as Terry's getting to then, after the final time when Pharaoh had so hard in his heart, Moses and his brother Aaron go to Pharaoh and, you know, each time was let my people go. And now you have the Jewish feast of the Passover where everyone who was in a house covered by the blood. So if you got the doorway, okay, mm -hmm. you're supposed to put in essence, a cross of blood over the door and everyone under the house covered by the blood were protected. Everyone not in a house covered by the blood, all the firstborn of man and beast died, which included Pharaoh's firstborn son. And after the people woke up all in terror, uh, there's some interesting stuff that we have Friday the 13th today is a bad unlucky day. The Jewish day starts at sundown. So the Passover happened on Saturday, April the 14th. But for the Jews, the Passover occurred, I mean, correction, the Egyptians, the Passover occurred on Friday the 13th. And it's been an unlucky day ever since. Wow.